Hello friends, welcome to today's Daily Devotion. I'm Kerry Wood, pastor of the Goldston Methodist Church in Goldston, North Carolina. We are proudly a global Methodist congregation. Today, we are wrapping up our exploration of the second chapter of Romans, looking at Romans 2, 25 through 29, as Paul continues to talk about whether or not there is any merit to being a Jew. Hear now these words from the Open English Bible. Circumcision has its value if you are obeying the law. But if you are a breaker of the law, your circumcision is no better than uncircumcision. If then an uncircumcised man pays regard to the requirements of the law, won't he, though, although not circumcised, be regarded by God as if he were? Indeed, the person who, owing to his birth, remains uncircumcised and yet scrupulously obeys the law, he will condemn you who, for all your written law and your circumcision, are yet a breaker of the law. For a man who is only a Jew outwardly is not a real Jew, nor is outward bodily circumcision real circumcision. The real Jew is the person who is a Jew in his soul. And the real circumcision is the circumcision of the heart, a spiritual and not a literal thing. Such a person wins praise from God, though not from people. This parable, or this The scripture reminds me of a parable that Jesus told that we find in the Gospel of Matthew. Jesus says a father went to his sons and he went to his first son and said, son, I need you to go work out in the field. And the son responds, okay, dad, I'll be right there. And then he never goes. The dad goes to his second son and says, son, I need you working out in the field. And the son says, dad, I don't want to do that today. But then later on, he does indeed go working out in the field. Jesus then asked his listeners, which was the son who obeyed his father? And they all rightly replied, well, it was the second son. That's kind of the argument that Paul is getting at here. It's it's not about a Jewish rite of passage that involves the cutting off of a portion of a man's genitals that matters. That is an outward sign of obedience that needs a reflection on the inside by, you guessed it, obedience. And so Paul is making the argument that just circumcision in and of itself has no meaning. Well, we could take this and we can paraphrase this into our modern American context. There there are a lot of people who have conflated being an American with being a Christian. They will say that America is a Christian nation. I'm an American, therefore I am a Christian. No, that is not the way it works. You could paraphrase what Paul said about being a Jew this way. Only a Christian outwardly is not a real Christian. The real Christian is the person who is Christian in his soul. America is not a Christian nation. American does not equal Christian. Christian does not equal American. Christian is not something that you can inherit from a parent or grandparent who was a Christian. This is not something that is hereditary. It doesn't get passed down from generation to generation just by default. To be a Christian, it's personal. It's something that is intimate and relationally direct between me and God, between you and God, but also in a community between you with me and God. All of that is what is true about Christianity. Not being an American, 
just as being a Jew has nothing whatsoever to do with just a snip happening to a little baby boy when he's too young to remember. And every boy who's been circumcised says, thank you, Lord, I don't remember. But remember this, God loves you. God loves me and offers us the opportunity to get real with God. That's what we're trying to be at the Goldston Methodist Church. And I encourage you to come join us, be a part of our discerning, our growing, our living together for Jesus Christ. We are on our summer schedule, worshiping at 10 a.m. and having a Sunday school time at 9 a.m. We're located at 185 Hillcrest Avenue in Goldston, North Carolina. And if you are anywhere near us geographically, come join us physically. If you can't join us physically, then join us online. We are live on Facebook and then we post our services on YouTube. And if that's the way you can connect with us, please do so. Because the most important thing is not anything except the connection that comes to God and you. And we just want to be a helper in making that happen.